Brand is a high damage mage support capable of melting down his enemies in lane whilst also outputting crazy AoE damage in teamfights. He burns his enemies away with his passive but can be extinguished easily if he misses his combo whilst also being very fragile with no defensive options or mobility. So when you're playing Brand, you're going to want to go for Dark Harvest. It works exceptionally well, giving you an edge more burst, especially as the game goes on. Then you're going to want to fill out the Domination Tree for some sustain in lane. After that, go down the Sorcery Tree with Mana Flow Bland and Scorch, and make yourself an even stronger lane bully. For your skill order, you want to match your W first as it's your main damaging ability, then your Q and your E to finish. First, we're going to take a look at Brand's item choices. So for his mythic option, Landry's Anguish is Brand's go-to. It synergizes amazingly well with his passive and gives him increased ability haste per legendary item built. Some of Brand's common options, Shard of True Ice is the go-to warding item for Brand. It gives him damage, mana regen, gold generation and vision, which is ideal. Zonya's Hourglass is a useful item for any mage and it gives Brand the chance to stay alive when he's being focused down in teamfights. It also buys him time to stall for his cooldowns and output more damage. Demonic Embrace is amazing when paired up with Lyandry's and his passive. Even the most beefy frontliners will find their health burned away at a rapid rate. For some damage options, Morellanomicon is going to provide a sizable boost to your damage output, but it's also a good pick against sustain comps with the duration of the Grievous Wound being extended by the passive burn damage. Ravidon's Death Cap is just a massive increase to Brand's damage profile as it scales further with more damage items built. You can also grab yourself a Void Staff which is a solid pick as it increases the damage of all of Brand's abilities whilst amplifying the passive burn damage. Banshee's Veil is going to give Brand a bit of magic resist but also gives him a spell shield that's going to help him against those awkward crowd control abilities. Rylar's Crystal Scepter is also a great pick. The slow is applied when you hit your abilities and also reapplied by your passive ticks. It's a great way to peel for yourself or your teammates or simply when chasing enemies down. Bran works especially well in lanes where he can abuse the long range of his W to easily poke down his lane opponents. Once he gets level 6, Bran can apply a lot of kill pressure. Look to make picks with your stun combo and then light them up with your ultimate. Against harder lanes, due to Bran's lack of mobility, champions who can easily close the distance on him are a real nuisance when playing him. Stay back and try to use your W to harass at maximum range while preserving your stun combo for gap closers. Focus on waiting for ganks and melting them down with your ultimate when they misplay. AD carries who can follow up on Brand's high burst damage and either set him up or follow up with their own CC abilities are perfect. Champions with long range are also great partners for Brand as together they can easily wither away their lane opponents from a safe distance. So in the lane phase, Brand's main job is to constantly harass his opponents with his high damage abilities and turn their hopes to ash. Focus on using your W as your opponents aim to farm and harass with your E when they get too close to minion waves. When you hit level 3 and have access to all of your basic abilities, look to get a full combo off on your lane opponents, procking the full AoE damage from your passive. Once you've got your ultimate, you want to look to set up fights in a 2v2 as Brand has a second power spike once he hits level 6. Try to time it when your opponents are close together for maximum damage. So when it comes to team fights, Brand is going to bring an absolute shed load of AoE damage. You want to watch your enemy's positioning and look to pull off a huge ultimate when they are all stacked up. The bounces between them combined with your passive will deal an insane amount of damage and often win the fight for your team alone. Before any fights are in full swing, you want to try and get as much poke off as you can with your basic abilities. They will deal some significant damage in latter stages of the game as once you have a few items you can easily force your opponents back, especially after a few ticks of your passive. Stick with your team as wandering off on your own is very dangerous. Brand is very fragile and can get picked off easily. Look to see the positioning of priority targets on the enemy team and look to catch them out with a quick stun combo and remove them from play, giving your team an advantage in any team fight. For a few tips now to finish off, you can catch people off guard by using your Q, quickly followed by Flash and E to instantly stun them. This is tricky to pull off but even harder to react to. Your ultimate bounces between enemy targets but also against yourself, so if there are no enemies around, in isolated 1v1 scenarios be sure to stay close to your opponent to allow maximum bounces from your ultimate. If your target is already affected by your passive, your W will deal 25% more damage. This makes it so much more powerful when hitting it after one of your other basic abilities. Try to land it after your EQ stun combo for maximum burst. That's going to conclude our short guide to brand. We hope it helped and we'll see you again soon. Take care.